Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Ace Combat X. Where I think they're trying to say this is going to be the final mission. We've know. advanced within striking distance of Archelon Fortress. Fenrir, the whole reason they started this war is being made right here on this base. It's our duty to wipe this base clear off the map. The HPM has been transported to Archelon Fortress from Cobalt Cave. And it appears it has already been fitted to Fenrir. The weapon works by emitting microwaves from both Fenrir and Archelon Fortress to create an overlapping field effect, detonating all fuel caught in between. Fly too slow for too long, and you'll be tracked by the targeting system. If you don't escape quickly, your fuel tank will explode. Mm. Thankfully, the targeting system has been impaired by the destruction of the satellite targeting facility at Cobalt Cave. Even with the targeting system impaired, the HPM still poses a threat. Be careful. We've also received intel that the Archelon Fortress is equipped with the same type of shock cannon employed on the Gleipnir. Sir, we've succeeded in freeing Aurelia. The war should have already been over for us. But someone has to put an end to this. Just make sure you come back alive. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we should stop. Rocking our lightning baby. Alright, so color. Oh, that's kinda cool. It's like a navy camo. Let's rock that. Um we're in QAMs. Cause the Fenrir aircraft are gonna be ridiculous and I wanna just shoot them suckers down. As I wrote down the words that would reveal the truth to the world, I couldn't help but feel uneasy. It said that the only true winners in any war are those who achieve what they intended. Diego Navarro had left Aurelia's capital in defeat, yet his goal of increasing arms exports had been achieved. It seemed as though he may be the true victor in this war. After returning to his homeland, it appears that he now plans to unveil the ultimate weapon before his country. Soccer field. Satellite images of the Archelon Fortress will provide the backdrop for his speech to the world. Such audacity must come from his confidence in this ultimate weapon, Fenrir. There's no such thing as a foolproof plan, I whispered to myself as I watched the sun slowly wheel across the sky overhead. Even the country's hero, still in the heat of battle, hadn't returned home for the celebration of victory. The Southern Cross will ensure Navarro's plan ends in failure. Ain't that right? That's not the plane I'm flying. I'm flying a real plane. <clears throat> Some of that freedom. That attack probably came from Fenrir's HPM. Your fuel tank and your sensors will be displayed on the MPT. The MPT will display any increase in fuel temperature. Watch it closely. All right, we're playing fighters. Fenrir is equipped with the same type of optical camouflage as the airborne fortress. However, with Aurelia's satellite surveillance system back online.
Oh, we're gonna take two hits. Okay, this is what the game wants me to do, bro. Doing boom and zoom on them, man. Be a bunch of freaking douchebags. Thank you. 
Do what it takes to destroy the shock cannon. Shock cannon firing preparations complete. A killer three, lower your altitude. Basil. That wasn't that hard, actually. Oh, no. Nothing? You're not gonna say anything? No. No ending? Kind of weird. Oh, there it is. Archelon and Diego Navarro's beloved weapon, Fenrir, were ripped by explosions and engulfed in flames. While these images flashed on the screen, the eyes of the press watched as the enraged citizens of Laysat stormed in on commanding officer Diego Navarro. When the rage of the thousands had finally subsided, it is said that there was nothing left but the shattered remains of Fenrir. It's ironic that the stage for the unveiling of his greatest triumph would be his ultimate undoing. When it was all over, I tried to get an interview with the Southern Cross, only to find that he had already returned to Cape Aubrey. He said he's never really liked hot weather. Eugene Solano, the young radio operator, answered sheepishly. Peace had returned to Griswold and it was now covered in the colors of the Christmas season. I went ahead and bought myself a figure of Santa, the kind that I could only find here. Elbert, I thought you couldn't stand the Southern Hemisphere. A fellow reporter said to me as he saw the Santa figure, a memento of this Southern Hemisphere of backward seasons. I like the design, I said as I embarrassingly showed it to him. It bore the emblem of the Southern Cross. And that's Ace Combat next, everyone.
one. I almost want to say that Last Mission can have different options to it based on the design of that fortress. But, I don't know. Fun little game. Like I said, this is a portable ace combat. It's great. It's good. You know, the limitations of the PSP not having the, the second analog sticker showing. But, I had fun. And that's all that matters is when we're doing When you play a game, you have fun with it. This is a good game. I remember I bought this at the uh, GameStop in Sandusky, Ohio. Just found it used in there, and I'm like, "Hey, let's get it." For my travels, but uh, sadly, that store is no longer there. But it's a cool little game. I enjoyed it. I got another flight game I'm wanting to do. It's gonna be a minute before I do it. But basically, it's a PlayStation 2 game. If you took the old game UN Squadron on the Super Nintendo and its anime, what it's based off, what it was built around, which is called Area 88, and made it into a more modern setting, kind of a sequel ish, it's basically what you're getting. Except this game, whew, it's like you're taking modern fighter jets. And going up against all this crazy sci-fi tech. And it's a really fun game. It's really cool. But God, is it hard. I never beat it. I got close one time, but then the game made me start all over because there's a mission where if you don't pass it, your game ends. <laughs> so I do plan on doing that. Uh, coming up, I've got... I think I'm going to do the next Advance Wars. And I'm going to start Xenogears finally. So, I'm going to get up on bot, i got to get the game going. i got to get Xenogears going. Either Xenogears or I'm going to try to do infinite space. I still haven't like, fully decided yet. I've still got a little bit left to do with Dragon Quest Heroes. And then I can jump into that. Well, I'm, I'm still just, I kind of just play stuff as I feel what I want to feel like playing, and that's how I kind of roll. But I know one game I'm going to uh, mess around with here, and as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to uh, actually mess around with Street Fighter Alpha 3, because I finally got the version that I want. Uh, it's actually the PSP version, it's actually like the best version of Street Fighter Alpha 3 ever produced. So I've got that. Uh, I'm going to be moving that up here so you know this and we're going to play through that. And my profile of my character who's my profile on my, my channel, so you guys can kind of see who that really is. I mean, you've kind of seen him in a couple of final fights, but I actually get to use him in this game. Play through a playthrough of Rolento, and if you guys want to see me do some more of that, and I can do that, it'd be good. Fight a typhoon. Gripping. <laughs> Sob. Oh gosh, I hate sobs on her car company. They were such a unique car company and they're gone. Just they overbuilt their they over engineered their cars like crazy and put them under. And with that, catch you guys in the next one. See ya!